What's up, guys? I'm Famous Nutbrack, and today we are reacting to what do alien civilizations look like? The Kardashev scale. I've heard a lot about this, and uh, let, let's let's fucking see how this is gonna go. Okay, let's fucking react to this. Observable universe is a big place that's been around for more than 13 billion years. Wow. Up to two trillion galaxies made up of something like 20,000 billion billion stars. I'm sorry. Twenty thousand billion billion? Is that like a typo, or is there is there really that many stars? That is a lot. Oh my god! Like we're one of these stars. This is astronomical. <laughs> no pun intended. This is astronomical. Wow. Look, at, we're one of these. We have one star. Look at how many stars there actually are. Oh my god, nothing matters. ...surround our home galaxy. Wow. In the Milky Way alone, scientists assume there are some 40 billion Earth-like planets in the habitable zone of their stars. Wait, what? There's 40 billion Earth-like planets? That's nutso, okay. When we look at these numbers, it's hard to imagine that there is nobody else out there. Yeah, the, it would obviously. change our perception of ourselves forever if we found others. That would be Just creepy. knowing that this vast place is not dead would shift our perspective outwards and could help us get over our irrelevant quarrels. Maybe. But before looking Probably for not, though. new best friends or worst enemies, we have a problem to solve. What are we actually looking for? We don't want to find out, man. I like how the, the intro is like subtitled. In a That's kind of funny. That big and old, we have to assume that civilizations start millions of years apart from each other and develop in different directions and speeds. That's kind of so crazy. Not only are we looking over distances of dozens to hundreds of thousands of light years, we're looking for a civilization ranging from cavemen to super advanced. So wow. we need a conceptual framework to enable us to think better thoughts that make us able to search better. Are there universal rules that intelligent species follow? Mm. Currently, our civilization sample size is only one, so we may make incorrect assumptions based solely on ourselves. That's that's kind of true. Better than nothing. We know that humans started out with nothing but minds and hands that could build tools. We and feet. Know that humans are curious, competitive, greedy for resources, and expansionist. Nothing has changed. We're uh, we're literally all these things. Greedy for resources, expansionist, competitive, curious. We are all of these things. Uh, most of us are too greedy, though. Stop being greedy, guys. Like, public service announcement, stop being greedy. And expansionist. The more of these qualities our ancestors had, the more successful they were in the civilization building game. Being one with nature is nice, but it's not the path to irrigation systems or gunpowder or cities. So hmm. it's reasonable to assume that aliens able to take over their home planet also have these qualities. Yo, that's and fucking weird. If aliens have to follow the same laws of physics, then there is a measurable metric for progress, energy use. Wow, okay. Human progress can be measured very precisely by how much energy we extracted from our environment and how we made it usable to do things. That's kind of cool. Dude, that is a buff chick. I paused at... I guess that's true, but a lot of people have energy and they're not using it. They, they just lay in bed watching Netflix all day. Unlike this babe right here. We started with muscles until we learned to control fire. Then we made machines that used kinetic energy from water and wind. That's how it happened. As our machines got better and our knowledge of materials expanded, we began to harness the concentrated energy from dead plants we dug up from the ground. Fossils. As our energy consumption grew exponentially, so did the abilities of our civilization. Between 1800 and 2015, population size had increased sevenfold, while humanity was consuming 25 times wow. more energy. Wow. Wow. It's likely that this process will continue into the far future. Oh my god, yeah, wait, look at that exponentialness, though. Like, look, we're here, well, we're a little past here. Now, look at that. Can you imagine? Everything's just going to consume a bunch of energy. And I guess that determines how great of a species we are in the universe. 
taking you into the far future. Based on these facts, scientist Nikolai Kardashev developed a method of categorizing civilizations okay. from cave dwellers to gods ruling over galaxies. Oh my god. The Kardashev scale, a method of ranking civilizations by their energy use. Okay. The scale has been refined and expanded on over the decades, but in general, it puts civilizations into four different categories. A type 1 civilization is able to use the available energy of their home planet. A type 2 civilization... Okay, that's us right now. So we're type 1, and there's 4. We're literally the worst on the scale. ...is able to use the available energy of their star and planetary system. Wow. A type 3 civilization is able to use the available energy of their galaxy. Wow. A type 4 civilization is able to use the available energy of multiple galaxies. Yo, what the heck? These levels differ by orders of magnitude. It's We're like bronze. comparing an ant colony to a human metropolitan area. To wow. Ants, we are so complex and powerful, we might as well be gods. Wow, can you imagine if we're the ant and we see gods? That would be nutso. We just see like a big ass figure taking our sun and eating it for breakfast. So to make the scale more useful, we need subcategories. On the lower end of the spectrum, there are type 0 to type 1 civilizations. Okay. Anything from hunter-gatherers to something we could achieve in the next few hundred years. Okay. These might actually be abundant in the Milky Way. But a civilization that is not actively transmitting radio signals into space might be as close as our nearest stellar neighbor, the Alpha Centauri system, and we would have no way of realizing they exist. Mm. But even if they transmitted radio signals like we do, it might not be very helpful. On an interstellar scale, humanity is practically invisible. Wow. Our signals may extend over an impressive 200 light years, but this is only a tiny fraction. You know, you could go tell your mom, everyone watching this video, you could go tell your mom, hey, I have a superpower, I'm actually invisible. Because on the Kharkov scale, uh, I'm, I'm actually not even be able to be seen by aliens of the Milky Way and even if someone were listening after a few light years our signals decay into noise impossible to identify as the source of an intelligent species today humanity ranks at about level 0 0.7 Heck yeah we have altered our planet wow We've created huge structures mined and stripped mountains removed rainforests and drained swamps We've created All bad rivers shit. and lakes and changed the composition and temperature of the atmosphere. Kind of playing God at if that point. If progress continues and we don't make Earth uninhabitable, we will become a full Type 1 civilization in the next few years. Hell decades. yeah! Hell yeah! Any Let's go humans. Any becomes a Type 1 is bound to look outside because it's likely that it's still curious, competitive, greedy, and expansionist. Yep. The next the billionaires in space. transitioning to Type 2 is trying to alter and mine other planets and bodies. This might start with outposts in space, transition to infrastructure and industries near the home planet, move on to colonies, and end with terraforming other planets by changing their atmosphere, their rotation, or position. Wow. As a civilization expands and uses more and more stuff and space, its energy consumption scales with them. So at some point, they may embark on the largest project a lower Type 2 civilization can take on, harnessing the energy of their star by building a Dyson Swarm. A what? Once this megastructure is finished, energy has become practically <laughs> unlimited for molding the home <laughs> what did, Well, what's a Dyson Swarm? Did he just make that up? Is that this thing? Yo, that would be dope. We have, like, this big thing fucking beaming us. You know what's kind of funny, though? Like, you could, you could build this giant thing, or I could just go to Home Depot and buy a, a solar panel, and I get the power of the sun, you know, charge my phone. So, like, you know, who's the real winner here? System, however they see fit if they are still curious what if space okay what I just I just had a thought what if space was actually just like an underwater to something above you know above ground like we're just a little cluster in like a coral reef a like coral reef is like the space and like there's actually an ocean around that coral reef and then above that is fucking uh air Competitive, greedy, and expansionist, and now have complete control over their home system, the stellar infrastructure in place, and the energy output of a star, the next frontier moves to other stars light years away. 
Wow. For a Type II civilization, the distance to other stars might feel like the distance between Earth and Pluto does to us today. Wow. Technically within reach, but only with immense investments in terms of time, ingenuity, and resources. This begins their transition towards Type III. This step is so far beyond us that it becomes hard to imagine what exactly these challenges will look like and how they'll be solved. Ducks and will tubes. they be able to find a solution to the vast distances and travel times of hundreds or thousands of years? Will they be able to communicate and keep a shared culture and biology between colonies light years apart? That'd be weird. Or will they split into separate Type II civilizations? Maybe even different species? Yeah, probably. Are there deadly challenges between the stars? So the closer a species gets to Type 3, the harder it becomes to fathom what it might actually look like. They might discover new physics, may understand and control dark matter and energy, or be able to travel faster than light. We might be unable to grasp their motives, technology, and actions. Humans are the ants, trying to understand the galactic metropolitan area. Wow. A high Type II civilization might already consider humanity too primitive to even talk to. That's wild. I didn't think about that. Imagine, I mean, that's probably true, though. Like, think about all the dumb people you know in life. Think about all the... I'm not going to name them, but, like, when, when I say a dumb person, someone comes to your head. Now, think of them. Now, think of an alien... Traveling the speed of light can fucking control dark matter. They they look they come down and they look at you, laying in your bed on eat, eating some Cheetos, like watching watching this. They're probably gonna pass up our planet. We need to get on our shit, guys. We need to be motivated so the aliens don't pass us up. We gotta prove we're the big brains of the universe, okay? A type three civilization might feel about as like we feel about the bacteria living on the ant hill. Maybe they wouldn't even consider us conscious or our survival relevant. We could only pray that they're nice gods. But the scale doesn't necessarily end here. Some scientists suggest there might be Type 4 and Type 5 civilizations whose influence stretches over galaxy clusters or superclusters. Wow. Structures comprising thousands of galaxies and trillions of stars. Wow. Ultimately, there might be a Type Omega civilization. Oh my to manipulate god. The entire universe and possibly others. Oh Type my god. Civilizations might be the actual creators of our universe for reasons beyond our comprehension. Maybe they were just bored. Yo, he got the chef as hat though. As long as this classification may be, he had the this fucking chef hat. is already telling us interesting things. If our ideas about the nature of species that form interstellar civilizations is sort of correct, then we can be pretty sure that there are no civilizations of Type 3 and beyond near the Milky Way. Their influence would in all likelihood be so all-encompassing and their technology so far above our own that we couldn't miss them. The galaxy should flash with But if they are so far ahead of us, they probably have, like, technology to make themselves invisible. Like, we have that, you ever see that shield where you can hide behind the shield and you become invisible? Like, our, our shitty Type 1 civilization already has that. So a Type 3 civilization probably has shit to be invisible and they could, like, manipulate you. You know, kind of like how people believe that there's, like, exorcisms and shit and their, their bodies move on their, their own. It's probably aliens. Actually thinking... We don't even know how we control our own minds. We don't even understand the human brain. What if aliens are using our brain... Oh god, aliens, please don't come down and strike me for coming to this conclusion. What if aliens are controlling our brains to harvest the energy of Earth to blossom so that we can control the galaxy so then they can harvest us? That's some big brain shit right there. Our activity in That's how consciousness works. Systems. We should be able to see or detect their artifacts or movements between different parts of their empire. Even if a Type 3 civilization did exist in the past and died a mysterious death, we should be able to detect some of the remnants of their empire. But when scientists looked, they didn't find remnants of harvested stars, decaying megastructures, or scars of great interstellar wars. Wow. So they're very likely not out there and never were. In a sense, this is very sad, but also very reassuring. It leaves the galaxy to us and others similar to Heck us. Heck yeah, we can rule the galaxy. So the most promising civilizations to look for may be somewhere in the spectrum from type 1.5 to type 2.5.
they wouldn't be too advanced to understand them and their motives. They may have finished their first megastructures, and they might be in the process of moving stuff between stars and transmitting enormous amounts of information into space by wow. accident or on purpose. They would probably also look to the stars and look for others. Then again, maybe we've got it all wrong. Maybe progress to type 2 does not mean expanding outwards, and humanity is still too immature to imagine otherwise. We're immature as fuck. For now, all we really know is that we haven't seen We're literally yet, that alien in the corner. we've only just started looking. That's kind of crazy. Until we finally find friendly super aliens and can ask them to explain the rules of the universe to us, most of us have to make do with learning stuff ourselves. Whether you're going back to school, leaving home for the first time, or if you're just entering a new phase in your life, our shop is stocked and ready for all your back to school needs. Oh shit. Notebooks it... and notepads to organize your work. Oh shit. Stickers and mugs to make things look nice. I'd buy that mug. Lots of posters to turn your dorm or room into an inspiring oasis. Of okay, knowledge. don't do that. We have new shirts and for the, the first duck time, shirt is a cool. Kurz Kazan to Earth sweater. All okay. of these okay. products are that, that looks like I, like people care about the earth. By the Kurz Kazan merch burbs. Our merch is the easiest way to support what we do and keep our videos free for everyone. Wow. Thank you for watching. I need some merch. Wow. Oh, hey, hey, look. Yo, that just opens up a lot of questions. We're the ants in the universe. Like, we're small. And think about it. Like, like we've invented, what, planes in the past, like, 100 years or so, roughly? Like, think about that. Like, we've only been to the moon a couple times. Like, that's only happened in, like, one lifetime. Imagine, like, ten lifetimes. A hundred lifetimes. Maybe maybe Walt Disney had it right. Maybe being frozen is where you want to be right now. Or maybe not. Find out next time on the next Nubrack Reacts. If you know a video that you want Nubrack to react to, make sure to comment below. See y'all next time. Peace.